love it. The calls. You'll eventually get the 20% back. That Silver Connect card is going to pay her co-payments. Remicade, I believe, is an injectable. And her hospitalization co-payments. And tell them to turn his Part B on. I get the cue from producer Tom. Today is the 13th of June, 2012. Hope everyone's doing well. Let me turn this down. It's way too loud. Way too loud. All right. Um, this is Medicare New. This is Michael Regan. Topics today are going to be, of course, my Matatuck Minute at the top of the hour. I'm going to go over a very important change to all of you Phillips employees out there. Um, I've had some seminars at the office, and they've been packed, and it's actually a little a little odd that so many people came. Usually they come, there's five or ten people, but it was packed. And um, I looked around the room, and I said, you know, what's what's the desire? What's the need? And so Phillips is making some big changes. I'm going to go over that. We are going to have a contest today where I'm going to give away a large pizza. Uh, my friends at Libros, he and I are working on this. Nick, he and I are going to do it next week. Uh, but this week, it's Dominic and Pia downtown, who you're going to receive a large cheese pizza for someone that gets the test question right. We're going to have a little quiz on that. We're going to go over changes to Social Security. Also, for the gentleman that called in regarding the means test, the $10,000 uh, means test, um, I, I'm checking the General Assembly. I'm actually having... My staff and Senator Kane look into it. I haven't found the exact answer on that yet. So um, as I said last show, I would get the answer. I'm still working on that. All right, we're going to take uh, some health care reform questions. I'm going to go over some of that. And at the top of the hour, we're going to take the Mattituck Museum. Michael Regan, how are you? Hi, Mike. How are you doing? Great to hear your voice, Stephanie Harris. So what's going on? All right, so um, Eloise and I and Bob and Stephanie, Stephanie, why not Stephanie Harris, <laughs> right. are working on the capital campaign, which the capital campaign is for companies to hopefully represent themselves, give back to the community, give back to the arts, which is what our museum is all about, um, arts, culture, and collaborative effort. So uh, Joel and Nancy Becker and I and my beautiful wife, Diana, are working on the corporate campaign, so that's going pretty well. Um, we're rolling out the letters now. We're going to be sending out the letters, following up with some phone calls. And I believe the expected end date would be the um, around September 1st, correct, Stephanie? Yeah, it's running uh, in conjunction with our fiscal year, so we'd like to try and get all the pledges in uh, by September. Right on. So um, listeners out there, expect a phone call from me. Um, in this economy, we completely understand you're going to have to just do the best you can do. Um, and and that's what we're discussing in these meetings. We, we meet over at Torrington Supply early in the morning. So uh, Joel and Nancy have been really, really generous um, with their company and allowing us to have that as a meeting facility. How's Absolutely. everything going at the Mattituck Museum, and what do you have on the agenda for today's Mattituck Minute? Everything over here is great. We just uh, we just finished up our last Lunch and Learn uh, lecture. Is that the Osher the Lifelong Learning Institute? It is, yes. Nice. We do it in conjunction with them. It was on the Venice exhibit. So we and, um, finished and the that was, lecture about uh, an hour ago. It was um, DeFilippis, I think, did that. Yes, he did the last one, yep. And mm. he's a very charming man. He did a really great job. So nice. We thank him for yeah, that. Yeah, I, I read all about that. Absolutely. And coming up, uh, not next week, but the week after, we've got an opening reception for uh, In the Shadows of St. Anne's okay. in our community gallery. And on that same night, we're also, um, we're also celebrating a sculpture installation by Mara Safera. Um, and as, as you know, her husband, Dave Safera of Carmody and Torrance, is a new board member at the museum. Yes. Um, we actually got to meet him, I think, at the annual meeting he came. Yes. Yep. He was there. And um, so, I think we're having a cocktail party for us current board members to meet the new board members next week or something like that. Tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. Hi, better. <laughs> I better get with it. You know, uh, it's today's the 13th. It goes by quickly when you have a wife and twins and a business and baseball coach. And All right, so I guess it's tomorrow. Yeah, and we'll see you there. I'm sure um, I'm sure it'll be, it'll be really nice to get everyone together. Um, you and I spoke earlier in the day. I think the location is going to be awesome. It's going to be on the roof. 
Yeah, Mara's exhibit is going to be um, on the, the rooftop um, of the courtyard. Right. Or you know, one of the rooftops around the courtyard. Right. And um, it's only going to be visible from the, the windows uh, in the stairwell of the museum. So it will be a very interesting um, perspective on the exhibit. Oh, no, that's art. See, that's the beauty about the way you're approaching this. You're not going to just leave it right there on the ground. L- let people work a little bit to see it. Absolutely. And plus the fact that they can't touch it, it won't get ruined. Yeah, exactly, and it's it's a, an opportunity for us. The first time we're using that space as as gallery, um, of gallery space. Yeah, no, that's and, you know, it's a great way for us to kind of expand the space that we have to show our collection and to show you know traveling works. Right, right. Um, then the next thing we'll be doing is we'll have in uh, in the basement we'll have some art. Oh, no, I'm only joking. <laughs> All right, so right good, good, good utilization of yeah in the new chiller, um, <laughs> which costing us a fortune by the way. Um, all right, so the Mattituck Museum is poised to grow with the new corporate campaign coming up. My wife Diana and I are helping. Bob has been doing a fantastic job. The new executive director, Bob Burns, likes to call himself Bob, not Robert. Um, he has been at everything. He was in the newspaper last week. Um, I saw him in the social moments. And with Eloise and Stephanie and the executive staff that's already been there i know you and kathy and jan have all been there for years doing a great job i think it's really really happening actually there's a lot of new blood and um it's a good vibe absolutely it's, it's you know fun and energizing to come in every day and, and hear the new ideas right and, and and be able to work with such a great staff. Um, so it's exciting because really um actually some of my friends are coming on the board i don't want to say any names on the air they might not like that but um i reached out and they were really receptive to it so i know you have an intern no last names but my friend amy please tell her i say hello and that we had a good minute absolutely all right, all right. have a great day mattituck museum talk to you later stephanie Thanks, Harris. Mike. all Bye. right rock and roll we have callers already um michael regan how can i help you hi michael regan how are you Hi, my name is Pierina. Pierina. I called to thank you so much for all the help that you you extended to me and my husband and all the group that came to your office. Oh, remember, the guys in the studio are looking. If my head gets big, we're popping it. All right, Pierina. No last names for HIPAA reasons. Please tell my listeners what happened. How'd you meet me? What, what was the progress? Well, we received a notice through the through the mail in the newspaper, and we decided to go to the to the seminar at your office. Right. And you and your whole staff were really gracious in explaining everything that people asked about different types of situations that they had. Right. I was really impressed. And I'm sure that I'll recommend your office and your service to all the people that I know. Hi. And I'm going to come and see you with every need that I have concerning insurance or other things for that matter. The key really here appreciate- is I'm trying to promote there are good people out there that help people. My staff is phenomenal. Angela's doing a great job. Um, Jean, Jean had a beautiful photo uh, in this Sunday's paper, her engagement picture, and I know you commented that you saw it too. I heard you in the office. Yes, um, yes, I. She's did. incredible yes. woman. She sold herself totally short with her little bios. She is a partner in the firm. She's built the place with she and I and my dad and my mom. We literally started 20 years ago from scratch with nothing but a couple customers. And it's people like you that are calling and letting people know that I'm trustworthy. That's the concept. I don't want to just sell you something. I want to listen to you. The key is you have to listen to the client, and I want to help. I I cannot thank you enough. Grazie. Ciao. And mi piace. Thank you so much for calling in. And that was really nice of you. Thank you. Tell Antonio I say hello. I will. Okay. Ciao, Bella. Ciao. Ciao. So um, it's arrivederci. It's working. I mean – I don't know how United Healthcare likes me so much, but they put this awesome flyer in the Republican American. It's like, want to learn more about Medicare? The Phillips people. Let me go over that now. Um, this is how I'm getting a lot of business. I cannot say any names for HIPAA, which is Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. But what's happening out there, and uh, I do need to read a little bit. I know I know what I'm talking about, but this is a 
a Phillips document, so I've been lucky enough to get a copy of it, so I do need to read it. Important changes to your retiree health care coverage. Your action required. Okay, so it gives you a little BS at the beginning of the letter. As you know, Phillips provides you with health care coverage through our group retiree medical and prescription drug plan designed for retirees age 65 and older. Our commitment to you has always been to provide coverage that considers your needs affordability for both you and Phillips and what is available for your health care partners. Now, they put this in bold. In support of this commitment, we are making an important change to your coverage. So if there's any Phillips employees out there, the phone number is 203-757-1320. Give me a call. If the phone doesn't ring, I'm going to continue to talk because I study this backwards and forwards. As of July 1st, you are losing your group coverage. They're telling you in the letter that they have found lower cost plans. Let me tell you the real truth. No, they didn't. You had unlimited prescriptions on your current group coverage. A fantastic paper company that I insure gives group retiree benefits to their employees. They don't make them buy it on their own. They give it to them as a benefit. It has unlimited drug coverage over at the paper company. No names, but the owners really care about people. Um, I actually got yelled at in the boardroom yesterday because the gentleman, he believes so firmly that the employees are the company that he's like, well, no, I'm not. I'm just going to eat that little small difference. Great guy he is, and and great woman too. There's um, a lot of intelligent women that work there that are always good to me. So anyway, Phillips, much larger than this paper company. They say in a letter, you have until July 1st, 2012. Well, the timeline wasn't that much of a timeline. They rolled it out in late April. So May, June is all you have. The office has been packed. The phone's been packed. I gave an, a seminar at um, St. Mary's Hospital last week on the fourth floor. And thank you very much to my friend Tom Shoot who let me call in last Wednesday morning to plug it. Um, little did I know, people at St. Mary's Hospital are listening to my show. And I gave a talk about the Phillips program and about Medicare in general. Room was packed. at like 30 people. Um, I ran out of bottled water. I always plug the Onda by Napoli Foods, my friends. Um, so I bring a case of the water with me, and, and I bring some light snacks. And um, it went like hotcakes. The seniors like flocked to it. Oh, by the way, we're not allowed to say seniors. The Medicare-eligible beneficiaries. So anyway, um, back to the Phillips thing. I'll go back to the, the seminars and stuff like that later, but let me get a little water. All right, so Phillips is trying to tell you in a nice way that, yes, we are kicking you to the curb. But they did a very classy thing. They are going to stick by you. They've come into an agreement with United Healthcare, and I always tell you on the show, United Healthcare is a quality carrier. They have deep pockets. They pay their claims. They have a good name. It's owned by United Health Group. So Minnetonka, Minnesota is where the company is domiciled, but they also are domiciled out of 185 Asylum Street, which is Hartford, Connecticut. You will now be able to choose from a range of individual health care, prescription drugs, and medical plans. Well, you have two choices. You can take a Medicare supplement, and that, the good one, is Plan F. It's $216.50. No problem. You can buy it from me if you like me, or you can buy it direct from Philips. Anyone with questions, just call the show. I have the phone number. Um, They are giving you a one-time lump sum credit of twenty four hundred dollars. Make sure you screen it. Um, all right, we have a caller on line one. Obviously, it's a hot topic. Michael Regan, good afternoon. How can I help you? Oh, uh, am I on the air? Oh, uh, I was in that support group at St. Mary's Hospital. I was just talking about it. Yeah, I know. I've been listening, and uh, you were fantastic. Uh, it, you, you know, we gave you so many questions, and you were right there with all the answers, and it was so good because. Uh, you know, we're not, we're, we're senior citizens. We are, most of us are, except I think one one couple. And um, <laughs> it, you, you answered all our questions. And I'm it was so impressed with you that I made an appointment with you, my husband and I. And, <laughs> and we spoke to you yesterday. I know who you are. You're such a great lady. Yeah. <laughs> so 
were you. Um, Thank God. So the seminar was at the fourth floor at St. Mary's Hospital. I'll go back to the Phillips thing because this is going to trumpet now. Mm -hmm. The lovely woman and her husband are there. And not for nothing, people are getting bamboozled out there. They are paying balance billing, which you shouldn't have to. They didn't know that the Medicare savings program was out there and available for you. So we took the Medicare savings program. Remember, the um, Western Connecticut Agency on Aging, actually WCAAA, but Western Connecticut Area Agency on Aging, they give seminars, but not everyone knows that this is available. So these lovely people, you look about 40, by the way, hon, you're beautiful. Oh, you so too. she's there at the St. Mary's Hospital, and she's listening, and she's saying literally to me and to her husband, you got to be kidding me. All this stuff's out there? And yes, this is part of MIPA, which is Medicare Improvement Patient and Protection Act. So we don't want to lose seniors out of Connecticut. If you qualify, if your income is under, after taxes, earned income, $37,524, you qualify for these programs. So people like this woman and her husband say, well, you know, how do we pay you? You don't. It's called helping people, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I think you came to the office in the past week, correct? Correct. Yeah. Well, what, what, did we, what did we go over at the office? Don't say your name, but what did we go over? I'm not going to tell you my name. Yeah, don't say your name. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, I, well you, we told you how much income we have right. and what we're paying out and what we're getting. And uh, well, we were, you, you're so knowledgeable that you explained. I mean, says, and we shouldn't be paying for some of these things. Right. Yeah. Thank God we, we met you. <laughs> well, it, I think your husband described the plan, and I'm not even going to say the company name, but it was 400 and something dollars a month for you and he, and then the prescription drug card was costing you a fortune. Yeah. If, if you're local, I love Medicare supplements. It's great. But if you're local and your income is declining, you can qualify for some of these plans, which will allow you to take a Medicare Advantage plan. As long as your doctors are in the network, it is truly a zero premium plan. So um, are you going to have your daughter help you with the form, or do you want my staff and I to fill it out? Uh, I have my son, who's very... It's very knowledgeable. Okay. And, uh, so have them fill it out, and then I'll see you back at the office, and we'll um, I'll get it to the Department of um, Aging Agency on Aging. Okay, it's a and form. Yeah. it'll I'm it'll be a roughly a six six week period. It, it, there's such a backup that it, it will be a little bit of a time, but I'll make sure I stay on top of it and and get you taken care of. Yes, please do. God bless. Thank <laughs> you so you much for the nice phone well. call. Call them out, everybody. <laughs> yeah, you're a good person. Very nice yeah, to. So are you. Great to hear your voice, thank and you thank you for your business. Everything. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Well, it's obviously working. Um, again, pop that head, Tommy Graves. All right. Um, back to the Phillips. So Phillips is going to provide you a one-time lump sum credit of $2,400. If you have a spouse, they're going to match that. So $4,800, one-time stipend. It's a stipend. It is your money that they are going to put into a retiree reimbursement account or RRA. So Tom is telling me it's time for a commercial break. I will see you in a few minutes. Michael Regan.